and checking in with you with LawnCareMarketing.org, LawnCareMarketingSuccess.com. I'm going to show you guys a quick, efficient way on how to edit a landscape photo today or a lawn care photo. So if you see right here to my right-hand side, a client sent me in some photos, and I'm editing them up. So this is what I get in, and this right here, if I were to put that up, may not always look the best, even if the client does just do the mowing and it's a good job, or if you as the business owner do the mowing and it looks like a good job. You see some browning over here. Um, there's some undesirable looks here. And in a professional standpoint, this image could use to be edited just a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna crop this image. I always wanna get down as close to the roof of the house as possible. And the reason that is, is I'm trying to box this image out. And when I box that image out, gives me a closer up field in the property makes me feel like I'm almost there rather than a distance away farther away and then I'm gonna come over here guys and we're gonna go to effects and in effects especially when I'm dealing with a property like this I always try to mess with like maybe an intrepid it seem it seems to green things up quite a bit but it doles out the full color of the image so I'm gonna take a look and see if there's anything else that we've got maybe a boost now if I boost that out and I bring that down to about a 35%. I'm getting a really good look there. Now I'm going to teach you guys a trick here. We're going to go into touch-ups. And they've got this called airbrush. I'm going to go to a strong airbrush. And get that airbrush about the right size. Now if you guys take a look here. What I'm actually doing. Is I'm airbrushing the grass. I'm using the makeup effect here. That most people use to edit faces on the grass. But what it's doing for me. Is it's giving that grass a fuller greener better look now it looks fuller and greener right now we're going to go in here and we're going to go to blemish fix and it sounds crazy but we're going to hit blemish fix and we're going to fix some of these little white spots in the grass and we can actually size this up as big as we want it and we can come over here and we can work that angle that leaves little white spots i went a little bit too big there guys so we're just going to go back by two and we're going to apply and now I can finish this image off and really make this image look cool by either putting a logo. So if you've got a custom logo, you can go to add your own. And it'll allow you to go to your computer or your hub. Or for me, what I'm going to do here, guys, just for an example, is I'm going to pretend like this is my logo. And I'll show you guys exactly how to position a logo on an image like this. I always come down right here to the right or the left-hand corner and position my logo guys and right there today you've seen the editing of a photo then this photo started like this and it ended like that that's how you make a quality image for your business on pickmonkey.com thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed the video